So from Breathless to uh, the theme of the World Cup champions, from a classical music uh, singer to a contemporary music composer, today we have him here in, in new shoes of an entrepreneur and a music teacher. Uh, IGN proudly presents Shankar Mahadevan. Good evening, everybody. Uh, there's not a single day that goes by without remembering you all. Because, <laughs> because uh, I can't believe that I am at the Google office. Thank you very much for making this happen. To you. Really. It's, it's, truly, it's truly a new experience and an honor for me. And uh, it's so lovely to meet all, all of you over here. I think before I uh, start uh, uh, talking, why don't I just sing a song for you all? What do you think? <laughs> Aren't you, haven't you heard that every day during the match? Okay, I'll sing for that later. I, I'll definitely sing that for you. Yeah? Okay, right now, uh, I'll just, uh, since it's such an auspicious uh, beginning, I'll just do a little prayer for you all, okay? a new uh, thought which uh, 
I had along with a few friends of mine. I finished my engineering. Uh, I I also became an engineer. Very difficult, say. And uh, 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 an engineering college mate of mine, Sri Dar Ranganathan. We met after 15 years. He came. He was here in the Bay Area for 15 years. He did his bit. He formed his company. He sold it. He's made his money. And I did my little bit in music, composing, singing, whatever you'll have heard some of the stuff that I've done. After 15 years, we met because I always wanted to do something in teaching, uh, teaching Indian music to to people uh, all over all over the world. And Sridhar was anyway thinking of developing something, uh, a platform for for education. So we thought of something. We came together and we formed this Shankar Madhavan Academy online so that uh, we can teach music to all of you all at your pace, at your convenience, in your house. So I'd like to welcome uh, my friend and my partner, the CEO of Shankar Madhavan Academy, Sridhar Ranganathan. Hello. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Shankar. Um, I lived here uh, almost 13 and a half, 14 years. Um, and I was at Yahoo pre-Google days. Um, I'd like to qualify that. Um, <laughs> because uh, you know the buzz and the excitement that we have guys have here, it was the same thing about uh, nine years ago in Yahoo. Um, I went to Bangalore to set up the Yahoo R&D Center. What I found there was a lot of educated people coming through. But we had to go through like 110, 115 resumes. And uh, I, have, I see a friend here, Jigna, she was with me there. Um, 100, 110 resumes to get one person. What I found was that education system goes one way, you learn somewhere else. And then we all make a career out of it in spite of the education system sometimes. And then that's one of the things that really stayed with me and I wanted to find a way to make it happen differently. Uh, with the advent of flash, video, audio, you know, YouTube, whatever, right? And you have so much content, and then you guys know this better in a lot of ways, is searching for that needle in the haystack that hits you, right? And then that's what you guys try to do. Uh, the whole idea about how do you find that needle in the haystack to help you understand? And then, how do you find the related needle in the haystack? You know, those are some of the algorithms that you guys are working on probably, right? What we did was we tried to overlay a, a pedagogy template on top of it, right? How, what kind of a learner are you? Are you a visual learner? Are you an or, no, auditory learner? Are you a kinesthetic learner? And all these different things. And trying to overlay a template on it and see how we can create a content management system that would help you as a student to learn, help a teacher to teach a, 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 a class. So as we along this journey, and then uh, Shankar was thinking there, okay, I want to create a music academy in the suburbs of Bombay, build a building, and, this. and then as soon as, uh, in the first five minutes of when we met, academy, online, platform, breaking the boundaries, and all these things started just you know, jam, you know, coming, to, uh, coming up for it. We jammed for a bit, there you go. Within about six months, we actually you know, launched academy online on March 3rd, which happens to be Shankar's birthday. Um, and in the last month, uh, five weeks, we have 100 plus students. So it, it just, it's one of those things just happened, clicked. So what I want to talk to you today about is what is it, how do you learn, what is so new, what is so unique, what is um, uh, you know, different about this? Um, so we have three uh, fundamental things, uh, and Shankar will talk more about that in terms of the curriculum of Indian music. If you go to um, you know, go to Western music, you start with sheet music, you have prerequisite, you have course one, course two, course three, you know, you know what your journey is, how you progress in your career to learn music. In Indian classical music, usually it's up to the teacher to decide. It's up to you how to learn. There is no specific coursework and there is no specific assessments. You can't really take advantage of, uh, advantage of a lot of technology that is there today that you, that you can use. Uh, the second part is, uh, so we actually structure the curriculum and the coursework. So you have 16 courses, four beginners, 16 intermediate, six, uh, sorry, four uh, beginners, six intermediate, uh, six advanced, where you get a diploma or a degree. We are working with uh, uh, reputed colleges to even make it a, uh, you know, available as a credit when you go to uh, colleges and such. The second part is a online music book, in short, home book, uh, where we try to capture the content in all the uh, multimedia facets, video, audio and such and also integrate tools in it. For example, you know, um, 
Shankar was playing music on the Aitan Pura app on the on the you know on the um, iPhone. We actually integrate that. Uh, we'll plan to integrate that in there. We have a recorder where you actually practice and sing and submit your assignment and in audio, and the teacher gives you feedback in audio again. So we'll demonstrate that and things like that. So how do you? And then you can save a recording. You can share it with your friends. You can share it with your family. You know, you can do a lot, lot of those kind of things. And trying to see how you can push the envelope in terms of learning, enjoying, it, or making it fun for everybody. Right? The third part is. It was simple, and I didn't want to reinvent technology there. We just integrated WebEx on the, on the back. One click, you are in the class. One teacher to five students. Uh, keep the class small and, you know, and uh, teach and learn. So uh, with that, I'll introduce uh, one of our students, uh, Shubhra Srivastava. Uh, she's been in the, in, the, in the academy for the last five weeks, and she'll demonstrate to you how she learns uh, from the online music book. I think you can speak here. Yeah. You want this? Good evening, everyone. Medium. So my name is Shubhra Shrivastav. I'm an engineer like most of you. Uh, I've been with Intel for many, many years. And uh, I took today off, so I'm not bunking. Uh, this is just a disclaimer, because I wanted to really help out this wonderful team and share with you my experience at the academy. I'm very fortunate, I, I, I found out about it, you know, on day one or maybe a few days before and I signed up right away. And, uh, you know, it's been a wonderful experience. Before I introduce you to the different tools that I use as, um, as a student, I would like to just share with you a quick background. Um, I've always been drawn to music and um, uh, throughout my life, I've tried taking classes off and on. Uh, my first uh, memory of taking Hindustani classical was when I was in fifth grade. And of course, it was not my idea, but my mom's idea. She thought it was a good idea to put me in a school. So in Lucknow, she put me in one of the best schools in India. And uh, here as a fifth grader, all I wanted to do was sing film songs, right? Because nobody wants to listen to uh, Saregama. And I go to this class where I'm the youngest student. And uh, for six months, five days a week, all I was taught was Sari Gama Padha Nisa, Swani Dhapa Maga Nisa. The assumption was one size fits all, right? It takes six months for everybody to learn that, and that's what we're going to teach you. So you can imagine how exciting that was, not quite. And, and the, uh, the, the second part was you could not discuss Bollywood music with your teachers because these teachers were, uh, you know, were old schoolers, and Bollywood music was considered as very light. So, you know, so then, you know, not surprisingly, I dropped out. So I uh, took lessons off and on. And then uh, my last experience was in Bay Area, actually. I, I would drive 40 minutes for a class. And uh, I won't like to name the school. I mean, I, the teachers are excellent, except that I was the only woman in the class. And some of you might know that men have a different scale. Women have a different scale. And the whole class was singing at the scale of these men. So I could never quite keep up because it's almost like asking Usha Uttuk to become Lata Mangeshkar. And, uh, you know, every time I would bring it up with my teacher, you know, she was, she was really catering to the other students. So it was extremely demotivating for me, right? All these years I thought I was an okay Bollywood, you know, okay singer of this film music and here I was unable to even keep up with the class. So I again dropped out. So the day I found out about this academy, I, I, I mean, that very evening I signed up, you know, and why, I mean, let me be honest with you, that it had Shankar's name in it. I'm one of his biggest fans. I'm like, you know, I have experienced taking classes, dropping out, how bad can it be? And, you know, Shank Shankar has his name in the academy, you know, let me just join. And it's been a wonderful experience for me, and hopefully, you know, you will see some, some of the process that I go through. So when I log into my, uh, in, into the academy, these are the options I see, right? So there's a, a virtual class that I think Sridhar talked about once every week on Thursday for half an hour. All I have to do is click on join class and it opens this WebEx uh, conference. I can see the other four students and the teacher and it's a very interactive uh, class. Uh, the teacher actually introduces you to a new concept. It's very structured. He tells you uh, what is expected, uh, what assignments are expected for next week and what he's going to be covering next week, okay? So that, that's all, and then the last five minutes of the class, thank God for that, 
you you spend discussing about all the bollywood songs that are based on that particular rag or you know similar swars which is actually always been interesting to me you know because it gives you a different um, you know a level of music appreciation right when you listen to a song automatically then you start thinking oh my god you know the the more you learn it's just uh, it's it's very gratifying so and then also you have recorded class so if for some reason you've missed a class you can actually every class is recorded you can go back and listen to it even if you haven't missed listening to yourself actually highlights all kinds of problems that you might be totally unaware of right and then uh, the last is the own book which is actually the most valuable resource that is available to you this is a book which is very rich which has very rich audio video content so it's almost i'm sure here if most of you must have heard about the sal khan academy right you all the learning happens offline and then through the interaction you actually you know uh, are uh, discussing and you know uh, it's it's the, the concepts are getting reinforced so here there are these online videos uh, short videos where you know you you learn uh, and i love i mean you listen to it as many time as it takes to understand right because it's available to you 24 hours a day and when you feel that you're ready then there is a little tool right there i can press record i can sing and then i stop and play back if i'm satisfied i save it and i submit and that's my assignment submitted right you know at one go and the teacher provides feedback if if i sang right or not Right, so in the own book there are teachers notes right very detailed notes there is no excuse to say i forgot you know that there is an assignment due because it's all captured here what uh, what assignments are due after what class and uh, and then then also the chapters if you see you know uh, like i think shankar mentioned it's very structured i know that once i get out of this course 12 weeks later i will know a small bandish in rag yaman and that chapter in yag yaman actually also has several bollywood compositions that are based on rag yaman so i'll have a little more in depth knowledge of rag yaman so let me demonstrate uh, this is one of the alankars that we learned this is a very famous singer savni ji who is singing so this is what i would you know on an evening i would listen to the alankar for example one of the first year and course you learn so i have an iphone app which i connect to my amplifier and uh, at my scale thank god for that you know everybody sings at their own scales you don't have to sing at somebody else's scale uh, i sing the same alankar and i submit and i'll give you a quick demonstration i submitted this assignment so look at how many assignments i have submitted in 4 weeks you'll be impressed this is only one page These are the number of recordings I have submitted. Hi, Shubhra Ji. Well, Sam, once again, you have a very bold and 
the open voice. What Maybe we call, call it, it something else. Sourcing. Bold and open voice. And the speed was also fine. It was very relaxing. It was a very comfortable pace. And all the swaras were perfectly in tune. So, good job. So I picked one that was good. There are a lot of <laughs> the ones that I got uh, which were not sung properly. So in that case, he sings it and says, you know, this is where you made a mistake. Sings it wrong, like you did, and then say, no, it has to be sung this way. So very customized and detailed feedback. So again, uh, you know, just two minutes on what I like about the Academy. First of all, you know, you sing at your own scale. I think I've made that point again and again, because I think that itself keeps a lot of, lot of us from, you know, uh, taking such classes. Second is it's self-paced. So if some a certain concept is difficult, you can listen to it, you know, more number of times, uh, and you know it, you don't have to follow it. And it's customized. So the teacher really knows where each student is at. Even for the same alankar, the students can be challenged very differently. And even at right, I mean, the teachers are so great that after the second class, the teacher understands, you know, where everybody is at. So everybody is getting challenged differently. Uh, if you're traveling, like I am, you know, I am this week I'm going to be in Oregon, I can join the class from wherever I am, right? You're not traveling to, so that, 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 that of course goes without saying. And um, last but not the least, uh, which has been a totally unexpected uh, uh, positive development that I've seen, I have two boys, 11 and 13. They've been learning uh, piano, they've been learning guitar and drums for many, many years. I know they are somewhat musical by now after all these years. If I ask them to take classical music, I mean Hindustani music, they, they won't do it. You know, they're, they're, you have to catch them young, so we miss that window of opportunity. But uh, every evening when I am uh, practicing, you know, we it's in the living room. They are sitting on their laptops, and very often I've heard my older son sing the same alankars, and he's perfectly in tune. So he doesn't even know that he's singing. He'll be humming, and of course I'll be as quiet as possible because the moment I point out, he'll stop. And so just, just knowing that these kids are getting exposed to something that matters so much to me is so gratifying. And, you know, I, I think it will help him become a better musician, even if it's, you know, a, a Western one, if he wants to. So that's, that's my story. So uh, to sum it up, basically what, what you've tried to do is uh, whenever you go to learn anything in any institute, any anything that you're learning you 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 receive your knowledge through two sources one is your your book your textbook or whatever book that is there that is available to you 24 7 you can refer to the book anytime you want that's what we've created a digital textbook for uh, you know you can uh, look at that and you can practice with the it's a self-learning tool because the way we've shot the videos it's in great detail and there are you know down, uh, uh, notations which you can just take a print out of there are references there are youtube links there are you know so many things available in that in that one textbook which which and there is a lot of theory over there especially for children uh, for small children we are having very interesting things like animation and little games for them so that they can you know uh, identification of of the sur they can do using these games you know uh, there's one little beep that comes out and you have to identify what note that is and you go and you know burst that particular thing so they get uh, what is called a swaragyan or we teach them simple things uh, simple songs that they've already heard in their lives like so they relate it to the tune that they've heard and somehow subconsciously they learn Swargya. So that is using the, the Om book, that is the online music book, we got the name Om book for that. And of course the, the teacher that is available in any institute. Similarly we have a live teacher over there in, at your virtual class but that is at a specified time you have to be there, log on and you learn your whatever you're learning. So that's it basically. And that's the teacher here. And she's going to conduct a class with you guys. Yeah, and I want all of you all to sing with us, okay? Are you ready? And with, with a lot of energy. Come on Google, yes. yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Superb. Let's go. Padma, go ahead. Hi. This is Padma Shankar from Chennai. Okay. Let's have a loud round of applause for Padma Shankar because she's right now She's right now in Chennai and uh, uh, firstly because it's 4.30 in the morning and she's up. Uh, thank you very much Parma for that and uh, also she's been with us from the conceptualization stage from the time we had a 
pre pilot we conducted a pre pilot then we did a we did a, we did a pilot then we did a paid pilot all this time they were there she was there with us and you know a couple of people like her so thank you very much parma and uh, what are you going to make us sing yeah. i think you should i think uh, looking at the crowd they should do a bollywood song yeah. what do you think <laughs> correct yeah yeah yes. i read their minds <laughs> Since it's such an Ajeeb Dasta that I'm in India and I'm with all these Google guys there, I'll be teaching you Ajeeb Dasta. Are you ready to sing with me? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Mm. Ready? Ajeeb Dasta. Ajeeb Dasta hai ye. कहा शुरू कहा खत्म ही मंजिले है कौन सी ये मंजिले है कौन सी न वो समझ सके न हम न वो समझ सके न हम ये रोशनी के साथ क्यों धुआ उठा चिराग से धुआ उठा चिराग से ये खाब देख सकती हूँ मैं ये खाब देखती हूँ मैं अजीब दासता है ये कहा शुरू कहा खत्म ये मंजिले है कौन सी न वो समझ सके न हम थैंक यू वेरी मच पदमा This is not Google. This is Surila Google. Fantastic. Thanks, Padma. So, uh, what we did was not only uh, not everybody wants to, you know, uh, wear a kurta and put a shawl and become a pandit and do a Hindustani classical music concert. So, there are many, many, many of us who just want to experience the joy of singing and just enjoy singing simple songs. That I always felt, you know, no, no, I don't have to learn all the songs. It's all very complicated. I have to learn the songs. So we designed this hobby singing courses for people who just want to learn simple songs. So we went and uh, we we put a poll and we got a lot of feedback saying that we would like to learn this song, that song. So we are in a continuous process of developing these own books for every single. Uh, a song, different, 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 different songs sung by artists. Like you may want to learn Ajib Dasta, you may want to learn Rat Kali Khab Me Aayi, Pal Pal Dil Ke Paas, or Kal Ho Na Ho, or uh, uh, you know Baik Baiti Hawa Sa Tha Wo, whatever you know. So we're designing these own books for simple learning. That's those are short courses. They're not intense courses like Hindustani and Carnatic music. Uh, they'll be they'll be lasting for just four weeks, a month. In a month, you learn the song completely. And those own books have a detailed, you know, they've got the lyrics, they've got the mukhra explanation, the antara, the way you sing it, the tune, the inflections, everything is explained by the teacher. Uh, we have an example of um, uh, Shankar teaching one of the his songs. I'm not and teaching all the songs, but yeah. this song I'm this teaching. Song. Uh, uh, we're launching this song on May 8th, which happens to be the Mother's Day, and the song is aptly named Ma. So I'll show you a small... Uh, I'll show you a small sample of uh, how he teaches the antra one. And, um, now when you arrive at the antra on the bridge, as we can call it for the song, that is when your singing has to be uh, very, uh, as you can say, not bold. That is, uh, volume-wise, it has to be the loudest in your entire rendition of your song. Because that is the that is the part when you're uh, actually, uh, you know, you're... you're uh, 
discussing something that you have visualized before and something used to happen to you and how you used to look at uh, look for your mother's help so it's a little bit of an anxiety kind of a, a feeling in this uh, uh, bridge so i just uh, demonstrate how you do it and that is where if you know in the song the drums also kick in and the guitar chords and all come in so that's where the song as such becomes slightly louder than your mukhda because mukhda is very silent and it's just a guitar and a piano so jab bhi kabhi papa mujhe jo zor se jhula jhula So there's a particular graph to this. The notes of this are ta na na na, very simple. Ta na na na, one step up. Then again one step down. Ta na na na, ta na 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 na. What you have to be very careful while singing this melody is the pitching of the notes when the notes are they are all notes that you sing very straight and you have to hit it very straight so you have to pitch them very carefully so so ta na 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 ta na 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 so first time it is straight ta na 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 second time there's a little slur ta na 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 pa pa mujhe जो जोर से अ स्लाइड स्लर लीडिंग टू दैट नोट जो जोर से झूला झूलाते है माँ दिस माँ हैज टू ऑलमोस्ट बी लाइक द वॉल्यूम बटन दैट यू हैव इन योर television set it just becomes bigger and bigger and it ends at a particular point ma <laughs> but this is not a cut thing like how you have done to the sab hai pata this has to sustain and also fade out ma meri nazar after reaching that volume you have to come down to a softer volume again meri nazar ढूंढे तुझे नाउ दिस ढूंढे हैज टू बी अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ अ डेस्पिरेशन लुकिंग आउट फॉर समबडी इट कैन बी ढूंढे तुझे ढूंढे तुझे यू आर सर्चिंग फॉर समबडी ताना ना सो कमिंग बैक मेरी नजर दैट्स अ सैंपल ऑफ दिस सो हियर this is like video number 20 and things so, so there's a lot of things that go before that and you know, he breaks it down to small small pieces the idea is to make it enjoyable fun and learn it um maybe you can ask him to sing the whole song yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a googly in a google मैं कभी बतलाता नहीं पर अंधेरे से डरता हूं ममा यू तो मैं दिखलाता नहीं तेरी परवाह करता हूं मैं तुझे सब है पता है ना माँ तुझे सब है पता मेरी माँ हो भीड़ में यू ना छोड़ो मुझे घर लौट के भी आना पाऊ भेजना इतना दूर मुझको तू 
याद भी तुझको आना पाऊ क्या इतना बुरा हूं मैं मां क्या इतना बुरा मेरी मां ओ जब भी कभी पापा मुझे जो जोर से झूला झूलाते हैं माँ मेरी नजर ढूंढे तुझे सोचू यही तू आके थामेगी माँ उनसे मैं ये कहता नहीं पर मैं सहम जाता हूं माँ चेहरे पे आने देता नहीं दिल ही दिल में घबराता हूं माँ तुझे सब है पता है ना माँ तुझे सब है पता मेरी माँ थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू वंस अगेन Thank you for having us over here. I hope you all enjoyed uh, what we presented to you, and I hope uh, you'll, uh, you'll, some of you all will be in part of this journey that we have started together. Okay. So we end up here. Uh, we'll join the fun. This is, this, the idea is to create something that is fun, enjoyable for everybody, and that's really what we're trying to do here. Uh, we can take some questions if you have about the academy and such. And um, um, yeah. Sauni, Sauni. See, that, she, that's in the video before. So it's all there, the, all the page and everything, the details of the page, the the sur, because that is just you just saw the a part of the video, isn't it? So she explains the page, what sur she is using, and you can you can you know learn in turn in, in your pitch. pitch. Yes. Yeah, uh, she'll be able to explain better how, how she managed it. So the teacher has an electronic plan for us. So when he comes to me, he, he actually remembers what is my what my scale is. So he brings it down, I think, then he moves on to the next one, he remembers what that person's pitch is. In an electronic tantra, you don't need to tune, right? So everybody's singing at their own pitch. Right. Do they do it for five students for yeah. simultaneously learning? So, so five students are never singing together. <laughs> They're all there. They're hearing the other students sing, but they never sing together. So each one can sing in their own pitch and while the other students, so my teacher used to tell me that you know it's much better to learn in, in a group but not in a group of 20. It's always better to learn in a group of 4 or 5 because uh, you know you, if you're learning alone you, you start feeling that you know you have arrived very soon but you have other students singing only you know where you stand. So when, when you're in a class of 4 or 5 you, you hear the other students, they inspire you. Not only that. If student number one, two, three, four, you're the fifth student, or, or automatically there's a kind of a riyaz that happens five times. Then you shuffle the, uh, the the method, you know, one, two, three, four, then five, four, three, two, one, then three, two, five, four, one. So you just juggle the order and you're learning already. And when it comes to you, if you're uncomfortable in the in the normal class of the pitch, uh, pitch of the class, you bring the pitch down to your particular pitch and you practice in that. So uh, let me answer the multiple questions in there. So the first thing is when you enroll, you'll see there is a age bracket, okay? And then there is a, uh, a, um, a gender bracket. 
So we try to group uh, people who can sing and, and, and based on age and, and, uh, and um, uh, gender. The second part is the course is a structure 101, 102, 103, 104, and then it goes to 201 to 206 and 301 to 306, which means you have a diagnostics assessment. If you think you have learned something uh, earlier and then you want to see where you belong, you submit an assessment. And the teacher says, okay, you belong in 103 or 104 or 102, or you actually start from 101 because what you learned is wrong or whatever it is. Uh, and then um, most of the people that we have seen now, they actually start in 101, right? And then there, the grouping is already done. And then during the class, again, you know, like, like I talked about earlier, where we are trying to make this as personal as possible, give enough materials uh, personal to you to learn, we also try to group students into, okay, these guys are okay. These guys are better, and these guys are the best, right? And then we try to give materials how to move the okay into better and the best. So you know, those are multiple ways of looking at this. So, did I answer your question? Yeah, okay. Well, so thanks. Yeah. So what is like the starting age that you recommend for kids? See, uh, kids are damn fast in grasping things. Uh, you know, whether they understand it or don't understand it, they just they just learn stuff really fast. So I think the minute you 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 find out that. Uh, your kid is, um, uh, has, has an inclination towards music or he reacts to music. I think you can start playing some music in your house already, uh, something that you feel that uh, will be comfortable in your environment. If, they, if it's a South Indian environment, people like to listen to Carnatic music or whatever, a ghazal or whatever. And they, they keep on listening to it subconsciously, a lot of it goes into it. That's, that's my experience. You know, my father used to uh, do a puja at you know, four or five in the morning and all those shlokas, I remembered suddenly now when I was doing some project, I said, how do I know these shlokas? And I remember that those are the shlokas which my father used to do when I was, uh, when I was a very small kid. So uh, they can start at a very early age. I mean, basic learning five, five and a half, four, four and a half, whatever, you know, some, some kids are really sharp, so they can start at a very early age. You know, um, at three and four and five, they actually pick up the language through the music much faster because they don't really distinguish between languages much. So it's much easier to teach them different languages at that point in time. And our academy, we just we have students who are also about uh, 73 73 year old also. So so that is the range bandwidth. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. You want to answer that? Yes, sir. So uh, we started, we actually started our pre pilot with violin. And then uh, we, uh, so the, the online music book part is easy, right? But when it comes to WebEx, and what happens is you have the bow and the fingers, finger movement. Uh, there is uh, you know, a couple of challenges there. You probably need two cameras. Uh, or if you go take a tabla, two cameras. Actually, the worst is, uh, ex the most extreme is like a mridangam or a dole, right? Two hands. Now, if you put the camera in the front, you can't see either, right? You have to put two cameras. So we're experimenting it. We are already are working on the curriculum part of it. But you know, how do you give the method of instruction in a live class is what you're working on. So the answer is yes, it's coming. But it's the, even the piano, for example, is broad. Now, how do you have multiple cameras for that and things like that? So. You know, a friend of mine is already one sitar hero in, in India. His name is Niladri Kumar. Have you heard him? He's truly a sitar hero. Yeah, he plays a distortion sitar. He's a rock star. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but uh, definitely, uh, the thing is, we always believe in crawl, walk, and run kind of thing. So we wanted to do it properly. We wanted to establish this platform nicely so that we know that the formula is there. You know, the own book, the, the virtual class, uh, the curriculum, everything, it flows one after the other. We tried it for the pre-pilot, then the pilot, then the paid pilot. So it worked very smoothly. So for vocal, we just started for vocal, uh, Karnatic, Hindustani, hobby singing, devotional, you know, chanting, all these things we're starting off now. But definitely all the instruments are coming up. Uh, but whenever we do that, we will again do a pre-pilot, a pilot, and the paid pilot, and then we want to follow that so that uh, we are doubly sure that when we launch, so we don't have complaints coming in. Yeah, it's like it's a Carnatic music, Riyaz, 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 and then a popular, you know, uh, Hindi film. Soon. So we kind of follow the same kind of footprint. Quality first, his name is on the academy. We want to make sure what we do is right and proper. So, yeah.
So we try to make the best fit. So here's, here's the thing, right? If uh, as a consumer, if you try to choose, I mean, you actually don't know what it is, right? It gets harder to manage that, you know, from a from a, even a scaling perspective. So we try to make sure that you have the right teacher, right? And uh, we also not only assess at the end of 12 weeks, we also assess continuously how the uh, how they progress. Like I said, you know, we give mat more materials and such. So teacher is a part of that more material resources in terms of making sure you have the right teacher. So we manage it on the back end. We don't give you a choice because you won't know anyway. So you just have a name. How, how do you know anyway? So, yeah. Any other questions? Well, I don't, I don't come into any of the classes and teach myself. I come in as visiting faculty. So, and not only me, uh, you know, I have spoken to many, many, many big artists, Mahagurus of India, and they've all consented to come in. So suddenly you'll see, you know, Rashid Khan coming in, or suddenly you'll see a, a Shreya Ghosal coming in, or suddenly you'll see Ustad Zakir Hussain coming in, giving a speech on his experiences. So it's going to be extremely motivating. So we're going to have a whole range of people coming in as, because you can't expect me to, you know, get up every day morning and at 4 o'clock and teach till 10 o'clock, you know. That's why we have chosen teachers. All the teachers are chosen by, by my consent. But, you know, I have, I have personally looked into the, teach, the selection process. So these teachers are extremely competent. And my, my thing is choosing all these things and coming in once in a while. And the teachers actually go through a teacher certification program. Not only they have to be good in music, they also have, have to have good communication skills given the market that we are you know, going after. So it's, it's very well choreographed and uh, planned. Uh, question? We'll probably take uh, two, two last more. questions. Okay. Yeah. You're yeah. the boss. <laughs> uh, big welcome to you at Google and thank you very much for the Thank you. Um, for kids and even for adults who want to, who want to join the class, uh, are there anything like camps where they can sometimes meet the teacher in person also? Like when the teacher is listening here or I go to Chennai, I meet uh, the teacher there. Are there any plans in person? In so it's an academy, so we'll have annual programs, contests, competitions. We just started, like I said, we started yeah, It's just a month old. We yeah. just started yeah. March 3rd, but we have Absolutely. exciting plans. Actually, we have a student over here, isn't it? Uh, where is she? She is here? She just left. Uh, she just left, okay. Uh, she got bored. So, <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, so uh, definitely, you know, we want to connect with the students and we, and uh, if there is a spark in somebody who's brilliant, who shows brilliance, uh, there is an upcoming music director anyway sitting at the top, so we can definitely work with. <laughs> Two more questions. Yeah. Okay, another question. Yeah. Um, she had a hand up. Okay. Yeah, are you teaching raga? Do you also have a tal like this tool like this raga? Is this tal oh yeah, yeah. How can you? How can you? Uh, how can you not have? It's like uh, you know the four wheels of a car. All you know they have to be of the correct. Uh, pressure, tire pressure, it's like that. So tal is as important as your rag or sur or anything. So everything that is required along with your sur, especially when you learn Carnatic music from the word go, they, you know, they start doing this. Every, every beat corresponds to a note. So it's done the proper way. So tal is as important as your sur. They say that, you know, you can even start singing in sur. But uh, if your tal is really weak from the time you're born, so might as well, you know, Try agriculture or fishing <laughs> or, <you know>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or technology. Or ah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, what are the long term uh, plans for the academy? Uh, I see that uh, there are, there's a technology aspect to the academy, and obviously there's a cost aspect. What? So, India, there are two pronged plans. One is um, how do we work with corporations and schools in getting offline Shankaramadan Academy centers? We'll probably have our own centers. So those are things that, like I said, by the time you build, a, get a land, build a building, do this, that, and that takes a long time, right? So, but we will get definitely get online first. But we have those plans. In the in the online space of it, um, it it's key that uh, it's priced differently. So those are things that we're working on uh, for India. Yeah.
and soon we'll be opening up to the rest of the world. So, you know, we'll be, we'll just manage the, the virtual class bit, you know, how the timings and everything, you have to match accordingly. We already have something called, uh, you know, they are uh, acoustically designed pods, as we call it, in Bangalore right now, where the teachers come and they sit there and they have high-speed internet, and there's a camera, there's a light, everything. So, it's all organized right now. But that is for the USA. So, similarly, we have to just expand. It's, it's, it's a matter of just yeah, applying ourselves. There is an acoustic pods where you don't hear dogs barking or you know, crows. You know, traffic, or traffic in Bombay is great now. So. <laughs> okay, one more question, last question. Yeah. Okay, what should be got? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I know, actually, that is an important point that you bring up. See, the thing is, you now you can buy a CD, you can go to YouTube, you can do so. So many places where you can get the song, right? What is the value? What, why, why, why do you even do this, right? That we went through a lot of that, so uh, thinking about it, making sure there is huge value in for you in, in you know, uh, in, in a, learning this song. This was taught by Shankar, but then the same thing is done for each song by different artists who can actually help you, you know, pick up the nuances, the expressions, the emotions that you connect and all that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Academy, I guess uh, there are volunteers here, so you can just. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please. For all the cricket fans, please, please. Come on, Lord, Degumage, please. Hello? Hello. I'll sing, probably you sing with me. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah. Sure. Sure. So I'll sing one line, you all have to sing Degumage, okay? Yeah. Which I already know. <laughs> Okay, I need the rhythm because I don't have any instruments over here. So your 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 beat will be my rhythm. Okay, one, two, three, come on, everybody. Dio kiladi vahe vahe, ta 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 ta. Dio kiladi vahe vahe, ta ta ta. Pade pade, aare pare, gutti guttam, adchan khadchan, juta hausla. बदल फैसला बड़ा ले तू बिंदास का बिला खेल जमाले कसम उठा ले बजा के चुटकी धूल चटा ले देख घुमा के हाँ घुमा के घुमा के घुमा के देख घुमा के घुमा के जियो खिलाड़ी वाहे वाहे देख घुमा के घुमा के घुमा के घुमा के देख घुमा के घुमा के जियो खिलाड़ी वाहे वाहे that was for India. So let's hear it for Bharat Mata Ki. Yeah.